Hello and welcome to my second video and first teaching video. Today we will learn how to assemble properly the clarinet, how to assemble it properly like this and I hope you will find it helpful and you like it. Let's start. Okay, let's start the lesson. First, we will learn how to open the clarinet case because you may think that it is easy, but it really is not easy because there are some instruments damaged for improper, not proper opening for the case. First, there is here a latch, you open it, but don't open the zipper until you make the logo of your instrument upward facing the ceiling then you open the zipper so it may not fall from the place that it is here you see the clarinet ready to get installed together let's see the parts first first from top to bottom of the clarinet First you will see the mouthpiece and leg chair. You the mouthpiece is very important to the clarinet because it has the reed get put on it and that makes the sound of the clarinet. And there is a cap, you may not have it but I think you can buy it online. Then you will see that after the mouthpiece there is a barrel which is this and this you will see a difference in barrels you may think why first I use this barrel which is shorter and thickest and I have another barrel which is longer and thinner the thinner and longer one makes the sound higher and the thicker and shorter one makes the sound lower but I think they don't make really different they don't make a difference in sound very much and next of after the barrel you will see the upper joint which is for the left hand placement after the upper joint you will see the lower joint which is the right hand placement and after the lower joint the bell and after the bell there is a stand and some instruments some in some clarinets doesn't have the stand come with the case and with the instrument but they may buy it online and you may only you may also don't have two barrels but there is some instruments have you may find the reed with your instrument I have a Sicilio reed which is my instruments brand it's a really really good brand it's Mendini by Sicilio and the reed is like this put it in a cup of water or a bowl of water or put it in your mouth until we assemble the clarinet I will not put it because I'm talking right now <laughs> you also will find cork grease a cork grease which is important for the brand new instruments for the corks of the instruments like these brown parts because they don't break from they don't break or get cracked you have to put some and make it here like this so when you put another part of the instrument it doesn't get it doesn't break the cork you put here too 
I put little because I don't need to, but you may put more, but don't put a lot or not, or like you don't put a lot or put little amount, you put an right amount. After you finish creasing, you close the lid, of course, and put it back, because you don't need it anymore. First, we will take the lower joint, which is this part, the lower joint, and the bell. When you put them, be careful while holding the lower joint, because you may break some keys, which they are delicate. So you have to be careful. You will see this part is solid with no keys. You may hold from this part like this. And close the keys. And then you put the bell like this. And twist while pushing. I put the brand like this. It's You will see it's taken out. It was silver. But because of I used it you put this aside I will put it here on the stand but stand is not opened you will open it easily too you open this part and make this and then like this after that you take the upper joint and take the barrel. I use the short and thick one, like I said before. You put it. Be also be careful here in the keys, like we said, like I said in the lower joint part, because they're delicate, very delicate. You may make it like this. And your pinky like this, so it can hold it in place while you push and twist on the other side. Yeah, the thicker side is on the part of the cork. Because this part... So it's like this. And you push. You may take more time to get it all in. But because my cork got thinner because of using it's more easy to me here is the important part the bridge key you have to align the bridge key with each other which is this and this you do like this yes and you push together and be careful for the delicate and push this, these three, while you're holding, and these three, while you're holding. But these two are more important, if you don't want to press this one. Because it doesn't have any keys, it's just a hole for your finger. Which makes a sound which we will learn on another lesson. You push together while they up, while they're up, and now they're with each other. When you leave them, they're aligned. And you look up. You have to make them aligned like a street pass. Or a bridge. Because it's named a bridge key. And when they're aligned, you're done with an important part. And this instrument, but still not finished. We have the most important part of the instrument. The mouthpiece. You take the cap off. And we don't need the case anymore. Put it aside. Because we want also a white background. Take the lecture out. And what read should you put? Are you a beginner? I prefer if you're a beginner. You use this brand of read. Which is Juno reads. And strength too, because it's really good for a beginner, it's a pure tone. And don't forget to get it for the clarinet, B flat clarinet. Because there is some people mistake on the instrument. Then 
can you open it? I'm already opened. And the case. You take the lead out of the case carefully because there is a thin part of the reed which is here. You see this part is thin. So be careful or it can be broken. You put it in your mouth a little. You sweat it. You will see here also the brand and the strength. You put it in your mouth. And then moisten here a little. And then you place the reed. I will get it moistened. You put the reed. You make moisture. As you see. This helps to place the reed in place here we want to be careful it's an important part too like the bridge key so we want a hair sized see this part hair part hair width as you can see and then you hold the lead with your thumb put the lecture and the screws on the right side so it can be placed properly. Check the same hair part. Make any adjustments. And then you I will adjust it more like this. Like this, it's adjusted properly. You tight the screws, but not very hard, so the reed can vibrate freely. And then, the instrument. You put it, like any other piece. And you will see it's like this. How are you going to play then? You have to align it with the, this key which is the register key and the sum key you will align it to the read so it can be look like this on the other side the and here the front side back side that's facing you front side that's facing the others the audience and this is how you put together a clarinet i hope you find this video helpful and you learned from it how to assemble the clarinet properly and wait for my next video which is how to make an embouchure and make the first sound on, the, on your clarinet wait for my next video and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like